Hi everyone. The function I'm going to teach you today is the convert function. It has three parts to it. The number, the from unit, and the to unit. I have the formula working right here. The, everything in the yellow is going to be a formula. So if I go to this cell, you'll see the formula is equals convert. There's your function. It is pointing to the number, which in this case is 1. The from unit, we're talking about miles, which um, the only thing, the only difficult piece to this function is knowing what uh, what to type, what shortcut to type for meter, for example, is m, inches, i, n, etc. So, um, and that's very easy to find within the, the formula help. Um, okay, so back to this formula. The formula is asking to convert the number 1, which is a mile, into how many feet. If I go to this one, again, 1 mile into yd which will convert it to yards. One mile again into millimeters, mm. And for nautical miles, it's nmi. You would need to know that, and then you're converting one mile into how many nautical miles. So, and the great thing about pointing to a cell, instead of putting the number one right here, which you could do, but it allows me then to change this to a two, or a point and have all of the formulas update. So let's look at uh, using the convert formula right here. In the desktop publishing world, uh, you often want to know how many pica you have uh, in so many inches. Perhaps you need that conversion. So um, in this case, I'm just going to manually type the formula equals convert where is my number right here and then uh, what is my from unit it's going to be inch notice all the uh, choices here another piece is the two unit which is going to be pica and then I'm going to close it and so two inches equals 12 picas and I can easily change that to two and a half inches equaling 15 picas. One more example, this time I'm going to use the function wizard um, and I, I think I'll actually take this away because I'll make a, a number of different conversions. So I'll go to this cell and then go over to formula and select insert formula, move this over here and I'm going to call up the convert formula or function and there it gives me a little explanation. And now again, what is the number? And I'll point to this two. What is the from unit? I'm going to say gallon. I know that it's G-A-L. And in this case, I'll say how many cups? So two gallons equals 32 cups. I can easily modify this and say, well, how many teaspoons? a lot. But if I change it to one gallon or change it to one quart basically, you have again uh, the conversion into teaspoons. Let's change this back to one gallon and change this to quart so that we can see the update to four. So the convert function um, it can be very helpful. So I hope you like that function. Thank you.